BOC is committed to the highest standards of patient safety, product quality and customer service. In keeping with these principles, we would like to provide some important reminders of best practice for use of our medical gases. Ensure good stock rotation by selecting the oldest cylinder first. Secure cylinders at all times with cylinder trolleys, cylinder carry bags, wall or bed brackets. Always remove the plastic security valve seal prior to use. Do not crack open the valve prior to use as the cylinder may move unpredictably. Always attach a pressure regulator before opening. Take care when fitting a pressure regulator to avoid bumping the valve into the open position. And check cylinder contents prior to active use via the reading on the pressure gauge to ensure you have sufficient gas for your application. First, we will demonstrate how to safely connect a medical oxygen regulator to a medical oxygen cylinder for use of oxygen administration therapy. To use gas cylinders safely, there are some essential safety steps to follow. First, always ensure cylinders are secure and stable by restraining them with equipment such as cylinder trolleys, wall or bed brackets, or cylinder bags. The high gas pressure in gas cylinders means they can become dangerous projectiles if accidents occur. The majority of reported incidents occur as a result of cylinders being dropped, bumped or knocked over whilst unrestrained. If a cylinder is restrained, it should remain in control and pose little risk. Secondly, before using cylinders, regulators and other gas equipment, ensure they are free of oil, grease and other lubricants. These substances may cause fires when used with concentrated oxygen and nitrous oxide. If these contaminants are found, then wipe the cylinder with a clean, dry cloth until it is free of contamination. If in doubt, replace the cylinder. Thirdly, check the plastic heat tag for deformation. If it looks melted, then it has been exposed to heat and should not be used, and contact BOC to report the issue. Before administrating therapy, it is critical you first check the identity of the medical gas you are using. To do this, you must always check the product label, which can be found either on the shoulder or the body of the cylinder. The product label must be used as the primary means of identification. The cylinder colour scheme should be used as a secondary form of identification. Once you have established you have the correct gas, you can prepare the cylinder for therapy. Before using the regulator, first check the labelling to ensure it is within its service period and that it is the correct one for the gas type, in this case, oxygen. Also check that the Bodox seal which provides the seal between the cylinder and regulator is in place and in good condition. Bodox seals should be replaced annually unless worn or damaged. If in doubt, it should be replaced as a poor seal may lead to hazardous oxygen leaks. To attach a regulator, place the regulator yoke over the valve and align the pins with the corresponding pinholes. Secure and hand tighten the yoke handle. Under no circumstances use tools to tighten the handle as you may damage the regulator and endanger the user. The gauge on the regulator will show as empty as you have not yet opened the cylinder. The regulator is now ready for attaching further equipment such as flow meters and suction devices. To open the cylinder, turn the cylinder handle in an anti-clockwise direction slowly until it stops. Then turn back half a turn so you can easily check if the valve is open. You may hear a hiss as the regulator pressurizes. The pressure indicator will show the gas level in the cylinder. For a new cylinder, the gauge level should read in the green full region. The gas indicator is usually marked in quarters. When you are using the gas for oxygen therapy, you should follow the protocol. Or if no protocol is in place, you should consider a replacement cylinder as the gas level approaches the red or left side. For further safety information, refer to the resources on our website.